got your Pioneer 1000. Now, the Pioneer 1000, Pioneer lineup, has had some kind of strange um, feature inclusions and exclusions, let's call it. Uh, so the five-seat convertible Pioneer 1000 has traditionally had the special editions, the LE editions. The three-seater hasn't. It's, it's been left out of a lot of the special edition um, updates and whatnot. That's changed this year. This is a Pioneer 1000 EPS LE model that comes obviously with aluminum wheels, all Pioneer 1000s now have EPS. Um, this is a great looking vehicle. I mean, this is definitely top notch styling. The box is beautiful. I really like how the box integrates with the rest of the vehicle. You know, the lines just flow nicely. You get full doors. Uh, why every side by side in the industry right now doesn't come with full doors, I don't know. For the price people are paying for these things, they should have full doors. So, Honda including these full doors on this vehicle is fantastic. I like this little step down here. That's a really smart move for climbing up, putting stuff on top of your roll cage if you've got racks up there, accessing the box, just all the different options that that gives you to stand up here and uh, you know be able to climb up a little higher on the vehicle. The box itself is massive. This is a huge cargo box back here. Um, and, and it's really well made. I really like the, you know, the tie down locations in the corners. Um, you've got areas to put dividers made out of, you know, two by sixes if you want. Um, just lots of really useful features in the box here. It's all UHMW, so it's durable. Um, one thing I will say that Honda could step up on the Pioneers is the dual latch tailgate system. They could definitely go to a one handle system like a lot of other companies have gone to. That would be a big upgrade. And Honda's known for their technology, so that makes a lot of sense in my opinion. Interior wise, you know, the, the Pioneer has been pretty bare bones interior wise and it still is. There's not a lot of stuff in here. No big fancy D GPS gauges or anything like that. You've got nice storage in the dash, which is pretty deep and, and relatively water resistant. Um, other air, little storage containers and areas in there as well. The seats are nice. They, they look really hard, but they're not. They're actually very comfortable. They are hard. I'm, I, that wasn't true. They are hard, but they're very comfortable. Um, Another thing I forgot to mention on these vehicles, on the ATVs and the Pioneer side-by-sides, and this is an interesting one, is that they've got new DCT algorithms built in, much like the Talon. So one of the new features here is that when you are in auto shift mode, you can now manually shift or make a manual shift in auto shift mode without going out of auto shift mode. So that's a pretty cool feature. Um, let's say you're running along in auto and all of a sudden you come to a spot where you're like, you know what, this thing isn't in the right gear. It's not shifting when I want it to. You just bang a shift with it, goes in the gear you want. And when it decides that you're done with that gear, it goes back into auto shift mode. So that's pretty cool. And it's a nice feature. It was great on the Talon and it makes a lot of sense to move over to all vehicles. So it's not just the Pioneer that gets it. The ATVs all get it as well. The Rancher and the, and the Rubicon and Foreman Rubicon as well. So there you go. Here's my quick overview of what's changed with Honda's utility, sport utility ATVs and their multi-use side-by-sides. Um, again, I just really think that this is a, this Pioneer is a great looking side-by-side, -side. it really is. The five-seater obviously offers a lot of features that a lot of other vehicles don't in terms of short wheelbase, five-seater, uh, it being convertible, you know, you can have cargo capacity when you want it with three seats or you can have five seats with limited cargo capacity that's something nobody else is offering with a short wheelbase vehicle so it, it offers you some unique stuff but finally honda has brought their three seat pioneer 1000s and 700s and whatnot into line with the features and benefits of the of the five seat model and there's really no downside to buying a three seater from you know the way there was before if you wanted fancy stuff you had to buy the five seater now you can get it in the three seater as well so there you go there's my overview of uh new stuff from honda hope you guys appreciated this and liked it i hope you're seeing stuff that you hoped you would see from honda um, again I, i've said this before but honda really isn't settling down there they're continuing to push their products there are things yes that i will admit we think they should do that they're not doing um, but for the most part honda is one of the only companies in the industry right now developing new stuff, pushing their products beyond where they were, taking them to the next level, and you gotta give them lots of credit for that, uh, and I certainly do.
Luke out. Thanks for watching this segment of Dirt Tracks TV. For more great content, make sure you click the links or subscribe to our channel where we're always updating with new content every day throughout the week.